Hey guys, and thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube page for today's prophetic word. And um, thank you all for listening. Thank you all for sewing. Um, all of my information, guys, is in the comment box right under this video. If you have any questions or you know anything you want to ask me, definitely drop it in the comments. And if you want to know a little bit about me on my other platforms, you can get all the information there. So y'all know how I do with these prophetic words. I'm in and out. Let's get to it. So today's prophetic word is, has your prophetic word become an idol, obsession, or distraction, and you may not be aware? Okay, so here's what God was showing me. And I, and I will say this to you guys. These things have been things that I have experienced so before I go any further, I want to tell you that I'm not only coming from wisdom that God has given me personally, but he has allowed me to experience these things as well. And there's some transparency here. So I can tell you these things that, um, and I'll go deeper later, but prophetically, he only wants me to speak on small aspects of it now. So I will be obedient because apparently whatever needs to go out right now, someone needs to hear it right now in this particular way. So, um, there have been some times in my life, in my adult life, when I learned about the prophetic that I did not realize that I was making certain things idols. Um, the number one thing that I need you to pay attention to and hear me from the spirit of the Lord, test my spirit, make sure this is for you. This might not be for you Ask God to illuminate what he needs to, to confirm if he's using me as the vessel to speak to you right now, because that may not be the case. It may be, you know, this may be a word for someone else. But I had an experience one time where I was going out of my way to avoid the word. Okay. The, whatever the word was over my life at the time, because my thing was, I did not want to make it an idol. But what I did not realize was I was so focused on going out of my way not to make it an idol. The fact that I was doing that actually made it an idol. Instead of going with the flow, instead of things just going the way they needed to go, I was literally overthinking everything to the, to the, I mean, down to when I responded to something, to when I did something. And I mean, it was just complete and utter overthinking and the enemy is tricky. That's why. You have to study the word of the Lord. You need to seek wisdom daily on the enemy's devices because he gets very, very sneaky. He don't have no new tricks, but he can get more specific and more, more methodical the more open you are, you know, if you're not paying attention because that's what he does. That's what he specializes in. So I did not realize the fact that I was trying to go out of my way not to make it an idol. That's the very thing it became. So that is a word for somebody, somebody who's saying, I don't think about that. I don't think about this. I'm not doing this. I'm not, I'm going to make sure when I do this, I'm not going to do that because I don't want that to be this and that, but then that's what it turns into. Okay. So please pray and seek God on that. Here's the next thing he showed me for somebody, this prophetic word, or in general, honestly, it's not, or I meant to see I meant to say, and in general, Receiving and looking at prophetic words in general has become an obsession. If you are hearing this and you every single day, you have to get online and find a prophetic word, that is a problem. Now, that's not, that does not make me feel good to say, but it is so easy for Things that we do to become witchcrafty and to become um, almost demonic. Things, you know, we could participate in things that are not benevolent, things that are not pure, things that are not holy. It is very easy as a Christian to do that because what people do not like to receive and what they do not like to understand is that a lot of the precepts and a lot of the, the, um, the things that the, the enemy uses, he mimics what we do. You know, I heard a testimony one time from a guy who, you know, he believed in the enemy and he was very clear. He said, you know, when I was in that world, he said, what a lot of Christians don't understand, the enemy mimics, you know, the directives that he would give and the, the, the way he would try to guide and, and lead would be by doing some of the same things that look like some of the same things we do, y'all. 
That's see a lot of people don't want to talk about that, but that's real. That was from someone who experienced it. And this thing was you you have to be careful. You have to stay covered in the word of the Lord because they can mimic things. They can make things seem like something and it is actually not of God. You know, it's not of God. And so you have to ask yourself, am I obsessed? And if you are obsessed, if every single day you have to hear a prophetic word, you have to see a prophetic word, it's a constant thing that you have to do. I'm not talking about somebody send you a word. You know, I've got a prayer group. I have, you know, friends, I have sisters in Christ, you know, some family even, I mean, we send each other, you know, inspirational things every day. Sometimes it's a word and they say, Oh, I think this applies to you. Or, you know, I got a prayer partner. We do that all the time, but we're not sitting around obsessed every day looking for a prophetic word. We, you know, like that, there's some of you, and I know it's hurting you to hear this. I can feel it in my spirit, but please don't be angry. Don't be angry at, you know, please don't shoot the messenger. I can't tell you what to do, but I'm only delivering the word because that's putting you in bondage. And it's actually causing you not to get the word that God really does want in your life. Okay. And so that's what we are here to do. We are here to break that. We are here to undo that. We are here to do that in a loving and kind way. And I know God is doing a new thing because I know how I can get. God is even teaching me how to calm myself down and how to, you know, relax in the word and not be so uptight about it for myself personally, not for others. It seems that, I, you know, that's not an issue for other people with me, but for myself and like all of us, y'all, that's why I try to be transparent in some respect for y'all so that you can understand, you know, we're all in the same playing field. You know, but the choices, we, the choices we make, we all get the same book. We all get the same word. The choices we make determine everything. Okay. That's something you got to know. Like you can look at somebody, you might want to hate on them. Are they doing this? Are they doing that? But you really can't because they're making a choice. If they're making a better choice, you cannot be mad at that. You just need to make a better choice if, if you feel like you need to. But for those of you who... You know, every day you have to find one. Every day you have to look for one versus it popped up versus, you know, um, God is leading me to this. Y'all, this is a faith issue. And it also has to do with your trust in God. You know, and I have to say this to you, y'all. I have to reveal something to you because many people are getting duped. And the Lord revealed to me it is like one of the number one ways the enemy is keeping people in bondage on social media. So guys, do you know that just from the bots and the metrics and the way these people know your information and they see your searches, you can look at a video on a particular topic and 10 more are going to come up in the suggestion box. What many of you are doing is saying, oh, it's confirmation, it's confirmation, it's God. No, it's not. It's metrics. That's why many of you get stuck in long seasons that are not your season to be stuck in or to be in at all. So, whew, I felt the Holy Spirit on that. There are many people who keep seeing the same word over and over and over again. And you are thinking it is God. It is not God. What did God tell you? If God said, if you got a word, you were nowhere on the computer, you weren't talking to nobody and the Holy Spirit gave you something, the Lord made you write something down or gave you something from somebody in the store who didn't know you. And then you hop on and you go to check your whatever and then boom, it's there. You didn't search it on anything. That's different. But many of you, you are not aware of how demonic and how deep the enemy can be in this social media platform. And now that they see that things are, 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 are thirsty and things are uh, a particular way, it shows that people are falling for it. So it's a lot easier for the enemy to get over on you on some things because he knows you're going to take the bait. So this is what I want to tell you. Please. Get off of social media for a minute. If you don't feel led to get off the social media for a minute, block some things. Don't search some things because I can guarantee you. And I know y'all listen to me. You know, you can, you can search something. You can search something on your Google and then hop on your Facebook and see an ad for it or your IG or your YouTube. Y'all, those are not necessarily signs from God. I'm not God. So I can't tell you what it is, but I know one thing. There are many people that are seeing things multiple times and you are convincing yourself that this is a word from the Lord from you when really this is just this stuff, 
being repeatedly recycled because they have seen through your searches that this is something of interest to you. This is something that you have liked. This is something that you have some type of desire to uh, receive, attain, maintain. You get my point. So I need you to be wise, seek wisdom. And if the majority of what you get is just what you see on line, nine times out of 10, that's not God. Because the enemy's sitting there looking at you too. Just like the angels protecting you, the enemy looking at you too. And his minion's like, yo, she's super caught up, dog. Oh, he is so caught up. He is thirsty. Oh my goodness. You know, he just, they'll just take that and try to manipulate you. And this is not the time for that. Because for whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing, there is a season that you are in right now and you may not even recognize it because you have nicknamed it another season. Y'all, that has happened to me so many times until I snapped out of it. Some of you should be preparing for something else and you're preparing for the wrong thing. Some of you are preparing for marriage and you need to be preparing for wealth. Some of you are preparing for wealth and you constantly focused on success, success, success in a business when God is trying to get you to prepare for marriage. Some of you He's trying to prepare you for missions trips. Some of you, he's trying to pre prepare you to, you're going to go through a whole friendship overhaul and a whole bunch of people going to leave. But if your, your energy is on, oh, man, I just keep seeing these videos. You keep texting and calling and texting and calling. You know, I always know when it's something when I'm like, man, that just came out of nowhere. Because let me tell you what I do now. When I start seeing stuff repeatedly that has a title or something someone sent me or even a title that I post on my own page because that'll happen too. You post things and they'll, you know, they'll show you things that are similar to what you post, right? I just put, you know, don't recommend or don't recommend or, you know, hide this. I do that and I make sure that my page is clean. I don't even want to see none of that. And I always tell God, if it's something on here that I have to see, you let me see that thing in a way where I know it wasn't nothing I was searching for. Make somebody else send it to me. And that's what's been happening to me a lot. He'll tell me something personally and I won't go seeking no answers on it. And he'll make sure he confirms it to me. But y'all, this social media stuff, it is dangerous. So please be careful because many of you are literally making plans of some of these words and the prophets are not necessarily incorrect. Now they got some prophet liars. Don't get me wrong, but it's not necessarily y'all. It's not that the prophets are telling you the wrong thing. You know, many prophets will say, listen, this might not be for you. You know, many of the prophets are very pure. It, they're not saying nothing wrong, but are you seeking God for real, for real? Because you, you, you're receiving and accepting something from somebody prophetically, and that is not a word for you. And because you keep looking at that stuff, it keeps popping up. You're like, ooh, girl, it just keeps coming up. I had to tell that to somebody the other day. I'm like, man, I keep seeing this stuff. I'm like, I don't even know if this is for me, though. I don't be opening that stuff, y'all. I just be like, bloop, bloop, bloop. I be hitting a little high button. Don't recommend. Uh-uh. If God wants to recommend it, trust me. Me hitting don't recommend and hiding and not, is not going to stop him. He's going to make sure I get it anyway. And trust me, it didn't happen to me multiple times in the last month. I have done that very thing. And the Lord has sent that to me from a completely different source. Okay. So I want you to be encouraged and I want you to be wise. I do not want you to consistently keep getting duped in by the enemy because y'all, I know you don't mean no harm, man. You just don't know. I didn't know either. You know, this is, I know this is not a, this word sucks. I get it. I understand. But you have to hear it. God does not want you to put these things ahead of you like an idol, excuse me, ahead of him like an idol. And you over here thinking you protecting yourself. But the fact that you overthinking how to avoid it, it's making it an idol. You know, if all you're doing is looking at these prophetic words and you keep seeing this one pop up and that one pop up and you're convincing yourself, oh, that's God that keeps confirming. And it's not God confirming that at all for this season, at least. And then you get stuck even longer somewhere you don't want to be. And then you get miserable. And then you get sad. God, why are you not answering my prayers? And he's like, I'm trying to answer your prayers. But you keep thinking because these people got this thing set up strategically to keep showing you that that's me. Close that up and open me up. Open up my word so that I could get that thing to you. Okay? And the last thing, it has become a distraction. That's how you know if the prophetic word has become a distraction and you are all over the place, you can't stay focused. That is a sign that that might have been a trap from the enemy and not necessarily something for you. 
Y'all, we got to talk about this tough stuff. Nobody wants to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it because you have to be free and you have to be delivered. This is how the enemy gets people to leave Christianity. This is how the enemy gets people to believe and stop trusting in a higher power. This is how he does it because he lets you get caught up in these states of idolatry, obsession, distraction, and confusion. And you start saying that God is not real. You can't trust God. He sends somebody to you to give you something that's not benevolent, but it is undercover demonic because it looks, you know, they put lipstick on the pig. It looks cute and it looks great. And then you end up in something demonic and you don't know how you got there because he's trying to throw you off. So we got to put a stop to that. Okay. We have to put a stop to that. Okay. And y'all, I, if you look at my one minute videos, I don't say nothing about prophetic. If it's prophetic, it's very clear that it's a prophetic word. Well, I had to go back and take all of that off because I started noticing something. Only the, 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 the views with very few, very few things people look at without prophetic word is probably because people just saw it on the main page or something. But y'all, all of the likes is from people and the views are from people who want prophetic words. And y'all, that's crazy. Because the real tea that I be saying be on a little one minute videos. That'd be the curse breaking videos. You know, but, but people are, th they want that so badly. They want that so badly. God had to teach me how to take that stuff in. Even though I, he uses me to put it out. He has taught me how to listen when I need to listen. Shut out people when he want me to shut people out. And I just keep it moving. Unless it gets, like I said, brought back to me. Then I know that, that that's something that I have to do. But I want you to trust in the Lord so much, y'all. That you don't have to see that. You don't have to hear that. You want to trust in the Lord so much that if he actually gives you something on a prophetic, um, um, in a prophetic way, that it's what you're supposed to have, but it's not life or death because the, the real living water, come on, somebody, the real living water is in the word of God. Cause that always stands true. Okay. That's the real living water. So if you heard something today and you realize that you might either be in idolatry, obsession, or distraction and you were not aware let's pray this prayer lord god we thank you we love you we ask the forgiveness of our sins and we appreciate all you are and all you have done for us lord i believe that i might have been experiencing some idolatry obsession or distraction concerning prophetic words that you have given to me and i am sorry because i was unaware if this applies to me god i ask that you undo disassemble and destroy anything that has demonically connected me to a word you may have given me, but I may have activated in the wrong season, or I may have been confused because I keep seeing every, seeing it everywhere. And I did not know the enemy was trying to use that to amplify something that you gave me for later. God, help me, give me wisdom, give me direction and show me what my next steps are so that I could be inside your perfect will. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. So guys, that was the prayer on that. And God has given me two more prophetic words. The next one that will be coming after this is, have you gotten a specific date, dollar amount, person, or place in a prophetic word? And I'm going to tell you what God has told me specifically for any of you that that applies to. And in the next prophetic word after that, I told y'all, if you, if you go back a few videos, he's been giving these to me. Um, and I'm going to be obedient and post them as they come. And the, the, the one right after that is called prophetic word eight, chapter eight, verse 18, wisdom, prosperity, God's way. Okay. God bless y'all. Make sure you check out everything and all my information in the comments. If you need me, I know this was a very loaded, heavy, heavy word. Um, and I apologize if, you know, anyone felt hurt, but I do not apologize for delivering the word of God. I don't want you to feel hurt. And I do not want you to feel bad, but I do not want you to be stuck either. I hope I said these things to you lovingly, um, but, you know, with with confidence that I know it came from the Lord. And um, you just you guys just be blessed and you be encouraged. And um, oh, and y'all forgot I have a book. I always forget to say this, but go to peptalkprayers.com. It's much like my prophetic words, my one minute videos, um, and it is you know, teaching you how to operate in God's perfect will, y'all. You know, that's what it's all about. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.